Let's have a look at the latest changes and updates of the Lickenhaus 007 before its first race weekend. During testing we could get some nice insights and Lickenhaus also showed us what they updated. Vibrations are always a race car's worst enemy and also Glickenhaus made this experience with the broken cable during testing. We could get a rare look underneath the front where we see the large front diffuser across the width of the car and its transition into the nose. For the headlines, Glickenhaus is using some protective wrap that you can rip off quickly during a pit stop to clean the lights. They use the same system for the windscreen. Above the windscreen we can see the Naked duct for additional driver cooling. On top of the car, we have the center inlet for the engine and auxiliary cooling, the side intakes for the center oil cooler, and new are the smaller inlets above to help the rearward naked ducts to guide more cool air underneath the bodywork. So far, it looks like this air is not guided and could help to keep the rear suspension members cool that are lying on the top of the gearbox at the back. The rear brake ducts are massive and feed the rear brakes from above which is a more reliable solution than feeding from the side. During the test drives we could see some heat marks from the exhaust on the back. Glickenhaus used some protective layer at the bottom to prevent this, but by the end of this weekend we should see some burnt red bodywork at the center again. Glickenhaus made it clear that reliability is their top priority and we can see it in their design of the car and their approach to race events. Let me know how you like this project and if you are looking forward to finally see this car racing.